in the forested castle of Transylvania, Mrs. Dracula is waiting for her husband Count Dracula. In the castle, expensive food is available but no human blood. Need innocent young fresh blood. Mm. Count has gone to the town. To have warm blood, we need fresh life. He will have dinner with us. When he is unconscious in a big bed in one of the rooms of this huge castle, then the two of mine or the Count's fangs will come down his throat. In one breath, we will found warm fresh blood. <laughs> But will he able to find that? Fresh young blood is very difficult to find. Nowadays, young children do work from home. In the time of online jobs, no one wants to take a job by driving a rickety car in Govindpur, a densely populated hilly town. A boy named Jonathan came many centuries ago. Hey, hey, there! There the two of the Count's black horses appear at the bend of the mountain road. Count is coming. Count is coming with a bag of fresh blood. Count seems to be in a very good mood. <laughs> Our new guest. Welcome, gentlemen. What happened? How this situation has happened? How? Uh, actually, madam. I will stay tonight only. Tomorrow I will go to my village home. Uh, I apologize for embarrassing you all. No, no. You are our honorable guest. But how did your shirt get torn? Robert, come here. Fellas, with Robert you go inside our guest room. Oh, meet Felis. He is first year student of Transylvania University. Stays in hostel. And meet the Countess of this fort, my wife. Whom did Count bring? It looks like there is no blood in the body. What a pale body. Will you take anything else? No, no. Uh, I am enough. I can't eat anymore. We have arranged your bed in the guest room. You seem very tired today. Yes, I am very sleepy. <laughs> Good night. Have a nice dream. What is the matter? From where did you get this bloodless baby boy? Hmm, it's very surprising. I went among fresh children in search of new blood. I checked it to Transylvania University Hostel. There, I encountered a strange reality. This boy, Felis. Yes, Felis is a poor boy from a village. He lost his parents when he was young. He stays with his uncle. Uncle is a farmer with little education. But seeing Felis' interest in studies, he sent him to study hard at the university. Then he started staying in university college hostels. But why are you telling me all this? 
I am saying this because when I reached college, I entered as an overdoting father who wanted to inquire about the pros and cons of a college hostel for his brilliant son next year. Hey brother, which side is Super's room here? What do you will do with Super? Your son studies here. Which stream, uncle? <laughs> no, no. However, I am sure that he will study in future. So I came to see the accommodation and environment of the hostel. What are you saying? So much confidence on your boy. You know, many brilliant students could not get a chance here. And your son. <laughs> he can do it. You show me the super's house. Is the college closed today? I don't see anyone here. Today everyone gathered in the common room. Newcomers are coming. Everything is new. Everyone are knowing each other. Well uncle, suppose your son gets a chance. But it's not enough to get a chance only by studying. Can he take the pressure of intro? Are you sure? What is an intro? <laughs> okay, okay, leave it. You go to the GS room, you will get all the news. That is the GS room. Today night, again intro. No, no, no. I won't be able to do it. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, boy. Listen, listen, boy. Hey, open your eyes. You need to give intro to stay in the college, you know? No brother, I haven't heard anything during the admission process. You may not have heard. Did you know after birth that you are alive? This is called life. No brother, I haven't think about it. You will have to think brother, there are many things to learn in the intro. Got it? Along with studies in college, you need to balance everything. Okay, so let's start. Walk from there. From there? I cannot walk. I'll fall. Please leave me, brother. What happened? You will fall. You will fall, baby. Come. Come closer. Do as I say. Get up. No, brother. Uh, I have hydrophobia. Please leave me, brother. Uh, uh, please don't beat me. Uh, uh, don't beat me, please, brother. Then go up. No, brother. This is not fair. This is not fair. Oh, oh, please. Listen, whatever, whatever I, I say, say you have to listen. You and I will you, you, you and suck your, suck your blood. <laughs> <laughs> Hey boy, wake up. Open your eyes. Uh, you? Who are you? I am the resident of this city. Can you allow me to stay in your house? I will not stay in this college hostel again. <laughs> Let's go in my house. There will be no problem in my house. It is not far from here. Yes, I will. You know, or else they will kill me and take all my blood. After that, I brought him here. Hmm. He is an anemic baby boy. What will we do with him? Let him be little healthy, then we will drink his blood. <laughs> Seriously? What do you think? He can be kept alive. They have absorbed all the blood from his body. How long will he live? Tonight, I will absorb the rest of his fresh blood. What is the point of keeping him alive? No, no, Countess. I can't agree with you. Even if you don't allow, I will definitely do my job today. I am amazed by your behavior. 
Madam, the boy is asleep. Go, Robert. I am coming. So simple, handsome face. No, no. What's this? What's this? Am I getting big? No, no, no. I am Dracula Countess. I have no weakness. No, I cannot be weak. Mom, mom, I will go to you. They beat me very much, mom. What? You? This little simple village boy was tortured like this. Who are these people? Are they human? Or blood-sucking Dracula like us? They are new age Dracula. Bloodsuckers like me are shivering today after seeing their brutality. They are sucking not only the human body, but also the blood of the whole civilization. A group is bullying the next freshman in their school by ragging. As the oppressor becomes former, the oppressed take their place, starting to exploit the next newcomers. Sounds very familiar, yeah? Doesn't it, Countess? Doesn't it? Much like us, right? Right? The history of this sacred bleeding is passed down from generation to generations. The palace of learning is becoming a stronghold of blood-sucking Draculas, scarier than us. I... I want to adopt him, Count. Surely, Countess, when people forget their humanity and become monsters, then monsters like us should become human. Come. Come, bow down today to the power of our arch enemy, God. Remember that song? Remember? Man, if he ain't a man, a monster can never be a man. If a monster ever become a man, shame won't you get. You know, you know, someone said the enemy of man is not a ghost, but the enemy of man is a human being like him. Hearing this, Countess' heart melt, she said. Here I come, son. I am here. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for upcoming videos.